How to get started with Obsidian? Well, this is the subject of this video. Hey everyone, Matt Jauro here and on this channel I help content creators turn their ideas into an income. So if that sounds like you, hit the subscribe button now. And if you're watching this video, you probably want to take better notes with Obsidian. Well, I've just created a free PDF that you can get by clicking the first link in the description that will give you three powerful tips to supercharge your note-taking system with Obsidian. So be sure to check that out right now so that you don't miss out on those. So you probably stumble across Obsidian and you just saw that this app has a lot of engagement and there is a big community actually. Start using Obsidian for note taking, also for thinking with your notes. But you may be a little bit overwhelmed because there are so many bells, so many whistles that you don't know how to start. Well, this video will actually fix that for you. And by the end of this video, you'll know exactly how to start and what you can actually do right now in order to get started. So first thing, obviously, what we're going to do is we're going to download Obsidian and install it on our machine. So right now I'm, at, I'm on a Mac and I'm just going to download the uh, application here. And what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to install it. So I, everyone knows how to install um, any kind of application on your Mac. So this is not the hard part here. So after installing Obsidian and after just launching it on your Mac, you're going to see that you have actually three um, three options here. So first, you can open a folder as a vault, you can create a new vault, or you can just open the help vault. So what is actually a vault? A vault is nothing else than a folder, which means that all your notes will live inside a folder. So I assume because you're just starting out with Obsidian that you don't have any existing folder. So what we are going to do is we are going just to create a new vault and we are going to click here, create a new vault. And now what we have to do is we just have to name our vault as we want to name it, right? So this could be actually PKM, so your personal knowledge um, uh, management system, right? So you can do that, and that what you can do right now is you can choose the location. So this is quite interesting, so be, uh, because if you're actually on the Mac ecosystem, you can just choose, as an example, your iCloud as your primary location, and all your notes will actually be synced with your iCloud account. So for this example, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put it here on my desktop, right? So you can, so we can actually see what will happen happen behind the curtain once we are going to use Obsidian and we and we are going to create new notes there. So let's just create that here and. As you're going to see right now, let me just show you actually my desktop. So what we have here is we have a little folder called PKM. Well, exactly as the name of the vault we just created, right? So let's just dive deeper into what we actually have here in the PKM. So we have nothing, right? So now what we are going to do inside Obsidian, we are going to create our first note. So let's just create our first note here by simply clicking new note. You can also use command N in order to create a new note. So now let's just call it actually new note and what is going to happen right now you see inside the pkm folder we just have a new markdown file which is nothing else than a text file right so if i if i click on this i can just open it and what will happen nothing because i didn't write anything inside the note so this is the content content let me just spell that right here this is the content of my first note okay so right now let's just open it again here and as you can see, what I have here, this is the content of my first note. Well, interesting. So the other things I can do is I can just start creating folders. So let's just create a new folder. So this is my first, my first folder. Okay. And look what's happened right now. Um, we just got a new folder inside my PKM folder. So now what we have here on the left side of Obsidian is mirroring exactly what we have as a file structure, okay? Great, so right now, let me just get rid of this, okay? And let's just start using Obsidian as you would use it actually as a content creator, as a knowledge worker. So the first thing, what you are going to do is to actually start with a new note. So you can just click here or actually on Mac, it is command N and it will start a new note. So let's just assume that I am creating a note about the common roadblocks for, um, that content creators actually face. So I can just title this note. So what we have here obviously is the title. Okay. So common content creator roadblocks. Okay. 
and then wrote blocks, okay? And then let's just start writing inside the node. So let me just create a node. So after a decade of being an, uh, being a content creator, I've identified these road blocks. So first, I have a, I have an issue with spelling roadblocks, but anyways. So um, first of all, a lot of content creators struggled with procrastination, okay, with uh, not being organized and so on and so forth. Okay, so I can just expand this list afterwards. But let's just assume, hmm, well, procrastination, I have a lot to say, to say about this. What are the causes? What, uh, how can I overcome procrastination? What are the different forms of procrastination? So right now what I can do is I can just select procrastination here, okay? And then while being selected, I just have to type in bracket bracket. So this creates automatically a link to a node procrastination, but we don't have any node procrastination. So how do we do? Simple, we just, keep one of our fingers on the command um, tab and then what we can do is we can just click and by, by clicking actually it will create a new note called procrastination great so right now um it's interesting so right now what we can do is we can just start um, writing here so procrast procrastination is the action of not taking action of not taking action and delaying or postponing something that has to be done. Hmm, interesting. So now different things that I could link to this uh, note here is um, how to overcome procrastination. Maybe other thing that, we could, that I could write here is um, how, um, what are the causes of procrastination so right now what i can do is actually i could link that actually to a new note um same same process i just highlight it bracket bracket but it creates actually a new note by clicking out of it and so now i can just start listing the cause of procrastination it could be fear so let's just say fear of failure failure fear of actually um fear of um of the unknown of the unknown and so on and so forth okay so right now i have another idea um i would like also to add something new here in common content creator roadblocks with is which is actually um so they are unsure about their business idea so well this could be also something interesting to link to business idea let me just um highlight this bracket sorry bracket bracket open the brackets Okay, let's just go here. And right now, when it comes to the business idea, um, well, I have some different idea here. Um, a good business idea um, has following criteria. So let's say there has to be a starving market. Um, I um, need to have the resources and then right now i could have like different type of resources here um let me i you see i have some some issues today with the spelling but um no worries so resources so right now it could be actually money it could be time it could be skills mm, well skills um so how can i how to develop um skills that make money well this could be also a great um, um a great uh, a great note to create and so on and so forth so i'm i just wanted to illustrate how you can actually go down that the, this rabbit hole and now what's interesting is if um, i actually go to any of these notes um, there is a tab here that you can expand and collapse by clicking this arrow and what's interesting you can see right now all the incoming all the outgoing links of this note so right now you can see we are in the node procrastination and we have procrastination mentioned in a node called common content creator roadblocks well interesting so right and right now i can just jump to this note here and see oh okay i talked about procrastination here interesting so right now i can go back to my procrastination note here okay and then just see oh okay um how th this is procrastination and and then i can just go dig deeper to, to the rabbit hole. So right now, this is just a demo vault. As you can see, we just have four nodes. But I think that you start getting the idea of the 
um, of how powerful the system can be once you have hundreds and hundreds of nodes that you can actually link between them. What's interesting also is actually the graph view here because it will show you a, gr a graphic representation about how nodes are linked between them. So right now I can see that procrastination actually is linked between causes of procrastination and common content creator roadblocks. So let's say tomorrow I want to create um, an article or, or any kind of content about the common content creator roadblocks and how to avoid them. I see directly that this is related first to procrastination, but it's also related to business ideas, okay? So being unsure about the business ideas, also um, struggling with procrastination, and I can just expand that. So this not only will make the uh, content creation process way easier, because all the work is actually done when you're taking your notes, so there is not really a lot of extra work in terms of, of brainstorming, right? So, uh, and the other thing is that your content will also stand out and be but better quality because um, this is not just an article that, that you wrote. No, it's like really living inside your notes taking system and every day that you're connecting and, and, and your notes and that you're finding new combinations, what will happen is that it will also make your content richer and actually help you to stand out. So right now, congrats, you know at least how to get started with Obsidian, how to start making your first links and your first connection between your notes. And of course, there's a way lot more things to learn. So this is why I want to encourage you to really download the PDF that you can get by clicking the first link in the description, which will give you three powerful tips to supercharge your note-taking system in Obsidian. The second thing is if you're interested in actually earning an income and creating your online business around um, monetizing your ideas, then subscribe to this channel because I'm going to release more content that will help you towards this path. And the third thing that you can do is also continue watching another suggested video here on this channel. And I'm pretty sure that YouTube has some great recommendation popping up right now on your screen. With that being said, I see you in the next one.